name of every person that's ever been entered is in the Torah code. The city that you're born, where you live your life, uh, who, who your partners are in life, it's all in there. And you say, how can that be? How can that possibly be? And the answer to that, it's a deep mystery. It goes back to what Einstein said uh, early on is that the past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. So somehow, three over 3,000 years ago, and this is the way as a scientist I choose to think of this, you've seen me talk in past programs about the very real possibility that we are living in a simulated reality or a virtual reality, that we are living a simulation, learning something about ourselves, learning about the power of love, learning about the power of human emotion, learning about the power of good and evil. And I say that because those are the dominant themes playing out in our world. The ancient theme of good and evil has been playing out since the beginning. The power of love to transcend hate and to transcend our hurt and heal and the power of human emotion to elicit that love. Those are all factors uh, that I personally believe are, are dominant factors. If we're learning anything in uh, a simulated world, I believe this is what we're learning. Now, the Bible code itself says that the code cannot be understood until what is called the end of time, not the end of the world, not the end of the world like so many people thought 2012 was. 2012 wasn't the end of the world. We're not living the end of the world now. We may be living the end of a certain kind of time and moving into a, a different kind of time, a new kind of time. And what the Bible code says very clearly is that we will only be able to read the code in the, at the end of time when computers, and the word computer is in the code when computers can unlock the codes. This comes from the book of Daniel, actually, is where this is. So the information in the Bible code was shut up and the words were sealed until the end of time. And it's at the end of time, and look at the, in the circles, computer, the word computer actually crosses to shut up the words and seal the book until the end, you can't see it's cut off here, but the end of time, all right? So we now have the computer.